One of the desperate and pathetic things that people who have built their businesses in the old way in an industry that is now being disrupted, one of the ways in which they try to defend their old position is by lying about the disruptor. We've seen that in many industries and we are beginning to see it in real estate in South Africa. EXP South Africa is coming to South Africa as the world's disruptor in the real estate sector. It is doing here what it has done around the world and we are starting to be lied about. And I guess it was to be expected. Today I'm going to talk about two lies that are being told about EXP South Africa. So this particularly odious discussion came up recently because there are a couple of offices in one of the cities of South Africa. I don't want to get into personal wranglings who are telling their agents lies about EXP and quite unfairly so. And so if you are one of those agents that have been told one of these two lies, I want to ask you to give me an opportunity to respond. There's an old proverb of Solomon's. This is Proverbs chapter 18, which I'm going to read to you because it is highly relevant to this discussion. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. In other words, you've got to get both sides of a story. And that's what I hope that you will do today. At least give me the next few minutes to address these two lies so that you can hear the other side of the story if you've been sold these two lies. Okay, so what are these two lies? The first one is this. This is an infantile accusation. But anyway, this is the, the best they can come up with is it's a pyramid scheme. You heard that? Oh, EXP is a pyramid scheme. Well, all I can say to the people that are saying that is congratulations you, because EXP is a multi-billion dollar market cap of, of three or four billion dollars, NASDAQ listed company. It is open in 22 countries of the world. Some of the best real estate leaders in history, like Gene Frederick and many of the top Keller Williams leaders have moved across to EXP. All of this has happened and they've managed to get past the regulatory authorities in America and list on the NASDAQ with Facebook and Google, etc. And none of them noticed that this is a pyramid scheme, but you, <laughs> you have somehow figured it out. Congratulations, you. So what is a pyramid scheme? First of all, pyramid scheme is illegal. Okay. A pyramid scheme is a scheme in which there is no legitimate product or service. The money that is generated in the scheme is, is generated solely through joining fees. So when people enter the scheme, they have to pay certain fees just to enter the scheme and they get no value for that. And that money gets given to the people at the top and then they run away with the money. And then the next people need to get uh, recruited into joining the scheme so that the next layer of people down can get their payout and leave. So there's no product or no service. That is a pyramid scheme. All right, that as opposed to EXP's revenue sharing system. Where does this pyramid scheme accusation comes from? Uh, come from? Well, it comes from the revenue sharing model by which you as an estate agent, without having to be a principal, can join as an estate agent, work as an estate agent, and yet attract other agents to EXP, and you can earn a small percentage of their commissions, not a joining fee. They have got to sell houses. When they sell houses, they earn commissions, and then you get paid a small percentage of that commission. And then if those people recruit people, you will earn a percentage, not just of the person you brought in. The technical word is sponsored. You sponsored someone into EXP, you'll get some of their revenues. When they sponsor someone, you also get paid a little percentage of that person's revenues. And so EXP have a revenue sharing system that goes down to seven tiers. Okay, that's how it works. Now let's just compare this to the traditional model of real estate. Because the traditional model of real estate also has its own pyramid. The agents in a typical real estate company have no ownership of the business. Do you own shares in your company? 
they do not share in the profits of the business. They do not share in the, even better, the revenues of the business. They don't share in the revenues of the company. They only make their own commissions and that's it. And they, they pay a split of their commissions to their principal, correct? So let's just get that clear in our minds. The typical model of real estate, traditional, is as an agent, I'm just an employee. I have no ownership. I do a deal. I now pay in a, a split on my on my commission. Normally, it's like 50-50. Or if you're lucky, you can get a 70-30 or whatever you've ma managed to negotiate. But you do pay a percentage of your commissions to your principal. Okay. Now, nobody jumps up and down and says, that's a pyramid scheme. But what do EXP do? EXP, on the other hand, have, instead of the agent being at the very bottom of this whole structure, because let me ask this question. Who makes all, who generates all the cash in this traditional pyramid-shaped structure? Who actually generates the money? The agents do. Nobody else is doing any work. When I say doing any work, I mean actually generating income for the business. It's the agents who generate the income. And yet, who owns the company? Well, it's the guy at the top. They don't give ownership to the agent. The agents certainly don't own the company. Who makes the most money? Well, it's the owners of the company who make the most money. And all the minions at the bottom are, are generating all the income. Okay, now let's compare that to EXP's model. In EXP's model, Glenn Sanford, the founder of the company, who was an agent himself, said, this is ridiculous. It's the agents that actually generate all the cash around here. Let's put the agents, let's flip this thing on its head. Let's put the agents at the very top. Let's make the agents the owners of the company. And what has happened with EXP is it's grown so rapidly, the model has been so good that they listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange and now every single EXP agent around the world, there's 88,000 of us now, are owners of the company. We get given shares in the business. We're all owners. It's the agents who own the company. Doesn't that sound nice? Okay, then not only that, uh, Glenn Sanford said, if the agents help us to grow the business, because what grows a real estate company is recruitment. The more agents you can get in your company, the more the turnover of the business will grow. So Glenn said, well, if the agents are the owners of the company, surely the agents should be compensated for helping grow the company. Okay, but here we now have a problem. In the traditional model of real estate, what does your principal do with the 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% that they take from you on all of your transactions, the split that you pay them. What do they do with that money? Well, the first answer to the question is they keep it. They keep it. They don't give it any, any of it back to you. Okay, once they've kept it, what do they do with it? Well, they keep feeding the beast. The beast being the rental on their office space the staff that they employ and all of the expenses, their P24 membership and their Lightstone membership and their listing systems and advertising expenses, all the stuff that goes into running a local real estate business in the traditional model, which by the way, is not very profitable if you actually get behind the scenes into the books of these businesses. They have to keep the money that they take from you because they have to pay all of these expenses. Now, if Glenn Sanford's dream of the agents themselves benefiting from the split. You get paid the split on agents that you help to bring into the business. You get paid part of the split. If that dream is going to be, be a reality, what has to happen? The cost structure of the entire model has to change. The traditional model of real estate is too expensive. That's why there's not enough money for everyone to participate in the growth. So what does EXP do? Glenn Sanford says, you know what, we do not need bricks and mortar in real estate anymore. Real estate is conducted online as it is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a company, and traditionally, well, in the beginning, this was in America. We're going to build a company in America without any offices. And that is going to save us a truckload of money. As it turns out, that did not just become a local successful business. It then spread to every state in America. And 13 years later, it has spread to 22 countries around the world. So EXP now are in 22 countries. We've got 88,000 agents. We do not own or, or lease one building.
Do you know how much money that leaves on the table for whatever they want to do with it? This is the most profitable real estate business in history. And here's where the power of it comes in. Glenn Sanford then says, okay, there's this huge pile of cash. What are we going to do with it? Let's pay a whole bunch of it back into the community of the agents. And we will pay the agents proportionally to how much they have helped grow the company. So if you will attract other agents into EXP, EXP takes a split on those agents' transactions, but then they pay you some of the split. And they do that all the way down through seven tiers. So in my own case, I have got agents on all seven tiers of my organization. I've opened six of those tiers for earnings. We can get into that at another stage, how the, the system works. So I now get paid a small percentage. It's, it's normally around three and a half, four percent, depending on which, which tier the agent is on. I get paid a small percentage of all of the split, all of the transactions that are being done throughout my entire organization. And we're talking hundreds of agents. Why? Because I have helped grow the company. I'm just an agent with EXP like you could be, but I've helped grow a team. And so I get paid a part of the split of everyone because EXP shares the revenues of the company with the agents. Now, if that's what you call a pyramid scheme, well, you can call it whatever you want. I just call it a progressive, generous model of business that has unlocked, whether you like it or not, the fastest growing real estate company in history. OK, so that is my um, the other side of the story to EXP's pyramid scheme, which is a ridiculous accusation. The second of these uh, lies that are being told about EXP is kind of more nebulous. It's less vindictive, but it's, it's also completely ridiculous when you look at the numbers. And that is just this comment that's often made, that'll never work in South Africa. That might work in America because Americans are all hyped up and they're all about that'll never work here in South Africa. And uh, in fact, I was told this by a friend and a colleague of mine who owns a very successful franchise in uh, in South Africa. Right in the early days, I approached him and I wanted to show him the EXP model and he looked at it and he said, ah, that'll never work in South Africa. OK, fair enough. Let's let's see what happens. So this gent, he's still got his business today. He's had it for probably 10 or 15 years and he's worked his tail off and he's built a great business. I respect everything that this guy's done. He's built a wonderful um, franchise of a big um, international franchise company and he's probably got about 40 or 50 agents in in, in his office which is a great and, and wonderful and very successful thing so this was two years ago he says to me that'll never work in South Africa he's been in business probably 15 years now he's got 50 agents I've been in EXP two years my team is now just short of 500 agents and my phone will go a whole day without ringing why? Because of EXP's model, I am not the principal of any of these people. I am not legally responsible for any of them. I don't have to provide software or training or anything for the people in my team. That's what EXP, the company, do for these agents. They are taking, they are doing all the heavy lifting, but I have just introduced people who've introduced some more, who've introduced some more. Now I have a team of close to 500 agents that I get paid revenue on every single month. It'll never work in South Africa. OK, so let me just throw some numbers at you. It'll never work in South Africa. I did a quick calculation on our dashboard this morning. In the last six months of last year, that's 2022, from July to December 2022, my business did about 700 million rands worth of property sales. 700 million rands worth of property sales. That's just my team within EXP. There are other teams within EXP. Just my team did close to a billion rands worth of property transactions in the last six months of last year. That means I'm probably doing 1.5 billion rands worth of property per year and it's growing every single month because my team is getting bigger and bigger every single month. It'll never work in South Africa. One of the allied lies to this it'll never work is EXP is just about recruiting. All they ever want to do is recruit so they don't actually sell property. Honestly, 99% of EXP agents don't 
aggressively build their revenue share teams and recruit other agents. Most agents spend by far the majority of their time just being estate agents, selling property like you do, ex except they're on a much better split and they get given shares in the company and they've got all the freedom running their own business, working on the best platform in the world for real estate. Okay, It's not just about recruiting people. Some of us take it very seriously like I do and I'm here to support agents like you if you want to come across and have a look at eXp's model. The last thing I want to say in response to all of this is if I have at least given you cause to pause and consider the lies that maybe you've been told, oh, it's a pyramid scheme and it'll never work in South Africa. It's just about recruiting. If I've at least given you some pause to think, hang on, maybe those accusations are not legitimate. Maybe there is something to see here. Maybe 88,000 agents around the world are not all complete idiots. Maybe the top um, executives that have moved from other companies and have joined EXP are not all complete idiots. Maybe there is something to this and I need to have a look at it. I want to quote to you a famous old saying. We've all said it many times and because we're so used to the saying, sometimes the wisdom of it does not strike us as I think it should. Here's the old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. If you are part of the old way of working and you're standing on the, the shore and the tide is coming in, people are telling you lies about EXP and you're not quite what to, sure what to think. The tide is coming in. Whether you stand there and jump up and down or not, the tide is coming in. We've got about 800 agents in South Africa in EXP in, in our country. I think we will get to five or 6,000. Now I'm basing that on what has happened in the States and we are tracking their growth. We're the fastest growing real estate company in South Africa's history. Nothing's ever even come close to what we've done. 800 agents after just over two years. I think we will be the biggest in the country in the next three to five years. We will be at about 6,000 agents. That's on current growth. That is a realistic projection. That means that over 80% of the agents that are still going to join the XP are, are still at other companies. There is still a huge opportunity and we're still in the early adopter phase of the growth of this company in the country. Why don't you, instead of listening to the lies or telling other people lies about EXP, why don't you just stop? Give me a call. Let's have a conversation about you joining EXP. Come on this incredible journey with us because this is a phenomenal business with phenomenal potential that can change the rest of your financial future.